first of all we are supposed to go for the introduction to etaps i have mentioned some of am i clear to everyone am i audible yes yes sir. Yeah. And, uh, when you want to change this uh, like uh, just change when you want to shift to another slide just tell me to change the okay slide. fine okay yeah sure 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 yeah, yeah. in that software i have uh, mentioned the what is the uh, etaps and what are a few of its pros and I have mentioned some of the basic and the most important steps required for the analysis and the design of a structure, whether it may be of RCC framed or it might be of structural steel, that is of SS steel. In that I have mentioned the first step as units and design codes, grids, history details, material properties, section properties, pattern of loads, combinations of loads, model check and analysis, design, member check pass, detailing, preparation of reports. Next slide. A case studies uh, in this course or in this workshop, I can say we have n number of case studies to be discussed. Yeah, in these case studies, uh, first we will be studying a uh, newly uh, designed structure or we are supposed to design let it be for a case of G plus 10, or uh, it is of RCC frame the structure. In this, we will be studying about the beams, columns, slabs, and if it is included in a shear wall as well, if it is not, then we will go for the shear wall study in a different case. Second one will be for design of steel structure, and it is combination of analysis and design as well. The sequential construction analysis, as far as ETAB is concerned, it is one of the advanced option available in the software as inbuilt itself that wow, a sequential construction affects the structure. Based on the sequence of construction, how the structure behaves, all these things we will be going in details in the course. This is next one will be the shear wall, the analysis and design. And this is a story drift based on the loading condition what will be the displacement and the sway ratio will be computed using this software. Irregularities check the mass and the torsional irregularities. Delta analysis that is of P delta and P big delta. These are the structural parameters one can check easily with the help of this software. Time history analysis, the response spectrum analysis and the conclusion part at the last. Before for the next slide, first we'll go for what is ETAPS. ETABS stands for Extended 3D Extended 3D is the abbreviation for ETABS. And ETABS is especially designed for the purpose of serving the buildings. In other words, I can say in serving for the skycrafters or serving for the tall structure of any heights of any signature. The first thing what I can clarify is the first structure which was firstly analyzed and designed using the ETAPS was the Butch Khalifa, which was made by 828 meters tall, which was the world's tallest building made in Dubai. And that was made with the help of using this software called ETAPS. And when we go for the ETAPS analysis and design, the results what we obtain from both of the stages either from Stanley analysis or from design it provides the economical means of results when compared to the other softwares like what we have started and some other factor it is providing economical results because this software is programmed as per the basic made with the pyramidal constructions that is the highest BMD, highest shear force, highest number of rods, that is the area of steels at the bottom. When the structure rises the floor, the lower the, when the structure rises, the automatically software reduces the area of steel with reference to the required bending moment and shear force diagram, which the software itself analyzes based on the input what we fade to them. And next advanced feature of this software is it works on finite element analysis. It works on finite element analysis method for the help of this analyzing any sort of structure 
is as simple as that without within no time any structure if it is properly assigned with the required inputs it will give the result within no time these are some of the uh, some of the points for e tabs in introduction when we go for the pros of this uh, e tab software it have n number of pros likewise it have for seismic analysis previously there is no software available like e tabs which gives such a kind of best results in e tab uh, in e tabs now any problem the same slide itself hello ma'am uh, am i audible yes yeah, sir. yeah same slide same slide okay, yeah okay. what is it that is the same slide please don't okay. change okay sorry. yeah sorry for that yeah and in the help of this software we can easily check the seismic performance as well as the load bearing capacity of us with no time of a structure can be designed or generated just by feeding the plan and the grid patterns with the help of these two only one us we are supposed to go for the modeling of structure with the help of this n number of stories whether it have for hundreds or it have more than that any sort of stories with the help of this plan and the grid like xyz coordinate system we can generate n number of plans that is n number of stories within the very less time and it also have a special design for shear walls and in the shear wall we can have n number of patterns loading like for seismic loading and for non seismic loading that i have mentioned this as stack and dynamic analysis as far as the reports are concerned e tabs is a software that has the report generation option in a very excellent way in this x report generation option we have to feed a very basic inputs like what will be the name of session what will be the cuttings required what will be the cutting angles required whatever the font size required what will be the paper size required and some of other more details if we just feed to that so feed after completing the design the reports will be generated in the readable pdf format within a single click and after we made the analysis and design the same output can also be used or can also be converted into n number of other formats like dwg for autocad version and dxf format and some other supporting formats which can also be used in uh, making uh, dt using the autocad or dxf formats it has one more important factor called similar story concept it is a concept that is same as making the copy and paste command for example we are supposed to design a very huge tall structure of 80 story in that 80 story we need not to draw each and every story with all the members every time for example i am just planning a single story building and i am feeding all the details to that story and if i just choose the similar story concept and if i select 80 as number of story the same parameters with all the details the software itself generate the structure within the no time this is the advanced meta that is the advanced parameter and it taps 2016 software and the previous uh, versions also this option is also available and the opposite of that is similar story and one story concept and this software also considers the dead load of structure in the program itself we don't need to go for assigning the dead loads each and every time to every member once the structure is designed the sections the materials and other parameters are considered it will automatically consider the dead load for that member and goes for the analysis and beside that it also have the various load combos like it have combination of seismic loads it have for non seismic loads it have for flow finish it have for live load it have for masonry it have for wind load it have for seismic load with group classification made in the software rest of all these things we are supposed to discuss in detail the next slide please in that the basic details what your yeah, basic details what i have uh, to show as a important is the load transfer 
it is same as what we have studied in the concept of structural analysis and design the load concept of it is also remains here in the same transfer pattern starts from the slab moves to the beam transfers to the column then to the footing and to the soil that is further the final in the analysis for each and every structure what we supposed to design we will be designing for computing the values of shear force and bending moment once the shear force and bending moment is computed and the values have been obtained with the help of that the depth of each section and the area of steel that is the amount of steel required will be computed will be calculated in the design part the most important one is the coordinating system that is the coordinate system it has has two coordinate system one is the global coordinate and another one is the local coordinate if you just see the first diagram which is below the ppt which is having only one coordinate that is x y z arrow i'm just mean that below diagram is everyone clear with this the below diagram same slide the below diagram only we axis x y z this below image below image next to this local individual member i just mean to point out this one the first one yeah this one this one not yes, at sir. the top the bottom image yeah the bottom this image one, yeah. this yes. yeah 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 exactly this is stand for the bottom image it is stand for this feature stands for the global coordinate system that means the entire structure i have designed and i have made with a single coordinate that is the whole structure represents only one coordinate system that refers as the global coordinate system in the etabs if you just see for the upper image that is on the left cor right corner the same structure the coordinate system is different the coordinate system is available for each and every member of the structure in that case we used to call these coordinate system as local coordinate system or individual coordinate system this global coordinate system and local individual coordinate system these two have different purpose that we are going to study in the later case when we go for the assigning of properties geometry design and rest of the material section if we go in details of that the purpose why we go for local coordinates why we go for the global coordinates it will be explained in the details we shall spend the course is then supposed to stop the next slide please the first step when you supposed to start an etap software we have to feed certain sort of steps in that i have used to use the built in settings it is one of the option available as a pop up message in that thing we will be using always in built settings always to be with in built settings with certain parameters first one is the metric unit we need to set first we will always be using for since we are working on the indian standard examples so we will be going for metric si units and the second one for the steel section even if you are using that or if you are not using that it is the things to be considered in the first itself itself the steel section database what we are supposed to use it will be as per the indian standard so we need to choose from the, the standards available in the etap software like the indian the american the uk codes the turkish codes within the available things we will be computing the indian standard as the steel section there is and for the steel design code we will be choosing for iso 800 to 2007 this is a more, uh, this is a steel design code we may supposed to go for and for concrete design code 556 is of 2000 this we need to check it first when we supposed to start for the etabs before making the model generation once it is done we will be going for the next step of making the model in the etabs next slide please the next point comes after choosing the codes and the units is the grid and the story data as far as it apps is concerned the story what we supposed to design or the bay length or the span length what we are supposed to design will be defined in the manner of grids for example we have a point a to point b point b to point c point a to b as one grid along x axis and y axis we need to define 
as each and every story element as a grid element in that i have mentioned the grid dimensions as the in the plan as the number of grids along the x axis like we used to do in a graph along the grids in x axis let us say 10 as the grids in x and 10 as the grid in y and the spacing among the grids in x axis and the spacing among grids in y axis this we need to feed it at the beginning stage itself we are in the modeling part right now and grids uh, the spacing of grids in x axis it stands for the span length the same for the y axis again stands for the span length once we assign the grids and the grid patterns that is the grid parameter we need to go for the z parameters that is the story dimensions in the story dimensions we will be assigning how much the number of story we are supposed to require let it be say for g plus 10 g plus 11 g plus 12 or g plus 50 whatever the number of stories we require we need to feed it in the excel we need to feed it in the pop-up message box and total story height the spacing of each story the clear height of each story calculated with the required number of story the total story height we need to feed it and based on the values it will automatically take the value from the foundation level to the plinth level as a three meter or five meter or six meter based on the designs it will take that value and along with that value rest of the flows if it is of same story height it will automatically consider for rest of the story by the inbuilt program itself that's what i have mentioned in the next point the bottom story height refers for the foundation to the plinth level of the structure this is the basic concept the bottom story height refers for the foundation level from the foundation to the plant level. This also we need to feed it and rest of the things automatically the software itself computes and the structural objects. We need to select only the grid options. We have a number of options. We have waffle slab. We have, uh, uh, we have, uh, we have another, uh, some sort of slabs like uh, waffle slab. We have for two way slab. We have for flat slab, we have for checkered, we have for some other different number of options. In that, we will be selecting only the grid options. With these, the grids and the story data of our building lets to an end. And after that, what happens? Please go for next slide. When we feed this detail, this new window appears. The new window appears in a three district, three columns like are three screens like I can see. The first one from the left side is the model explorer. All the parameters related to model, edit, view, define, section, rest of the things, it will be in a left to first part called model explorer view. Next to that is the plan view. Whatever the things we have filled in the previous session that is in the previous slide, those parameters will be reflected in a 2D line as a plan view and the same will be reflected in the 3D view. This is the thing with what we have seen as of now. If uh, please uh, come for the right corner, right corner of the slide, we have three options here. We have three options here. One is of one story and next two is global and third one is units. 